we're back into the schedule tonight, Demp. Everybody plays. Welcome to the show. Ballpark cam is turned on in Baltimore. Jim Palmer statue regaling the masses who were on their way in to see two hot wildcard contenders. It's the homestanding Orioles and the Marlins, both teams with winning streaks. Hey, look, each time that the Marlins won 90 or more games, Demp, you know this better than anybody, they went on to win a World Series. They're hot. Orioles are hot. Let me ask you this. Which wild card contender is more dangerous in this matchup? Whoa, that's a good question, Matty. Uh, more dangerous. I think there's something about the Marlins. Like, we know that the Orioles are good. I mean, it's coming to fruition there at Camden Yards in Baltimore. They're playing well. The young prospects have come up and produced. They're pitching well. But what's going on in, in Miami, I think, is really something else. I mean, Alcantara hasn't even pitched to his capabilities as last year's Cy Young Award winner. But you look at Lazardo, Perez, who they unfortunately sent down to manage innings. Bring him back up. Braxton Garrett. These guys are dealing Mel Stoudemire Jr. has that pitching staff absolutely on fire. A 3.33 team ERA, uh, starting pitcher ERA since the beginning of June. I think that's third in all of baseball. So they know what they're doing, and, they're, and then they're scoring enough runs. They add a little bit of offense this offseason when they made the trade. Pablo Lopez for Luis Arise um, got a batting champion, and the guy who looks like he's going to win it again this year in the, in the NL. So Jorge Soler makes the all-star team hitting homers. These guys are fun to watch, and, and they're just hanging on. Like, Atlanta's been so good, Matty, that I don't know if they're going to catch them. Atlanta could run away with this in the in the NL, but Miami just keeps hanging there. Skip Schumacher's done unreal. Staff, John Mabry, all these guys. Um, the boys are believing in themselves, and, and they could be dangerous, especially if they have Yuri Perez comes back up at the end of the season. So um, don't, don't sleep on the Marlins whatsoever. It, it could be a scary situation. You get in a short series with those guys. So in the interest of balance, let me hit you on, on the Orioles, and I know you've got something on the Orioles. Orioles a little bit later. We're going to talk to Seth Mullins a little bit later on as well. But Baltimore is on a 98 win pace. The last time the Orioles won that many games, it was 1997, and Harold Baines and Jesse Orozco were still active players. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It does, Harold. <laughs> they were in their late 30s at the time. But man, Baltimore is such a fun watch. We watched the Rutschman show at the Home Run Derby, and we're going to talk to Seth Mullins about that in a little bit. Aaron Hicks has been good, sipping off that fountain of youth ever since getting away from the uh, repressive pinstripes. They've got a bunch of switch hitters in that lineup with balance. Everybody laments about the starting staff. I think they're fine, and I love the Orioles uh, to be the dangerous wild card entry, if not win the whole thing in the AL East. So you take a look at the standings, and we're going to move on from that matchup because the schedule is loaded with good matchups. 